Georgia Tech, the Blue Unis, West Virginia in the golds. We are underway, and the Jackets control the opening. Esmeri Martinez coming off a double-double. She's got 15 this season. It was real, really an X factor in that win against Lehigh. Inside Is and it? on cue, there's Martinez. Morella Kubai, the ACC co-defensive player of the year, as advertised in round one in that victory, the comeback win against SFA. Inside, and a whirling dervish layup is make sure not only you're winning and prepared but you're following protocol extra out of pressure some teams it's a hand one and, and an energy play that's where georgia tech can shine as well fletcher is that type of player she's long aggressive can finish through contact and has a really into the flow so i think you're seeing it more on the uptick than them being you know quote unquote tired Hermosa off the mark. Lawton in on the offensive glass and the putback, and we're tied. Worked so much on her game. It was the ACC most improved player. It's gritty, according to Nell Foreigner, and that's an outside shot for West Virginia. Equitable investment from the NCAA into the women's tournament and the women's game would pay off. It'd be tremendous. Indeed, it would. Well said. West Virginia back to work and the layup good by Dean. It is against Boyd, who just checked in for the first time. Four and blue for the Jackets. Gondrasic launching from downtown and connecting. 13 to 6 Mountaineers. A sick crossover. Oh, with the step back. Come on. Now we can see why you might have been one of the most overlooked players in the country. That's step back. That's pro level right there. Well, as long as they don't start you know. wearing uniforms backwards, oh, dude, you know I was about that crisscross. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Back in the day. Oh, yeah. Mid-range is there, and West Virginia starting to open this one up. Brooke, you don't want to suggest it's a danger zone already for Tech, but given the low-scoring nature and the defensive tenacity for both of these teams, certainly it feels that way. The pressure and the stress that comes along with rallying from 17 down at halftime. Well, Lost left like that open. Rebound. Big bucket for Georgia Tech, and it's 15 to 11, just like that. Brooke, what do you make of Madison Smith on the court? That certainly could be a boost for WVU, especially if you get past this round. Time winding down in our first quarter, nine to shoot for WVU. Dean's a brilliant lob inside the easy two for the Mountaineer. Fletcher left open. That's a three, too strong. Put back right that before count. the buzzer. That's going to count, Brooke. They are fortunate to be trailing by just a bucket. Yeah, that's tough because West Virginia is getting a lot of points off those turnovers. They've got 11 of their 17. And there's another three. So West Virginia is figuring it out. So after the triple by Hemingway from the corner. Contact, no whistle, off glass, and that's good. Rebound controlled by Tech. Put back is there. Kubai, the basket. No gold uniforms around for the offensive rebound and put back for Kubai. Step back triple towards attack. It's all net, and the Jackets have the advantage by two. Grittiness, the hard work. She just has, she has so much fun when she plays as well. It's, it's just been great to see those players stand out with their energy and effort. So, you yeah, know. you were high on Don Staley's team early. I remember Yeah. we were doing some Big Ten games, and that was... Dominant part of our conversation early in the season. Dean's from downtown. Gondrasic fires a pass down Give low, off me. glass. Martinez now with six. Mountaineers runners up in the Big 12 tournament. Lost to Baylor in the championship game off the bat. Uh, tough in traffic. Martinez, look at the moves. Too strong. The rebound claimed Ooh. by Kubai. Kubai. Back and forth we've gone. Deep two. Give Who it else? to me again. Lawton and just getting it done with 14 first half points. Turnovers in the first quarter, just one so far in the second. And that change has prompted a massive difference in this basketball game. Yeah, they've they've stopped the bleeding on points off turnovers. One on this possession. Point bank layup was missed. The put back. The kind bounce is there. And dropping off. Gondrasic in transition. Carson connects, and that's a three. I think their advantage is in the bigs, or Lottman hitting this shot. Time winding down, mid-range there. Plenty of time left for the Mountaineers. 
Predators up in the Big 12 after falling to the Lady Bears. Off the mark, tapped out. Hemingway had it for a moment, and now another turnover for WVU. Here comes Georgia Tech. How scrappy are the Georgia Tech players getting their hands about that deflection led to a three. That's a quick five-point swing right there. Her ladies excited about this matchup. It's not the deepest team in the ACC this year. Eight teams from the conference made the NCAA tournament. Ten-point lead in West Virginia. I think the most surprising stat to me, though, in this game is the rebounding edge. Georgia Tech is 23 to 10 rebounding edge. That's incredible. Queen, the freshman. Florence, South Carolina, the pride of Wilson High School going to work. Look at the dime dropped inside, and there's Love. Dontrasic drawing the double team. She'll dish it off. Martinez from 16. She's got the mid-range, and now with eight points. You need that big-time play, you know, the and one, something where you can get your confidence back. But right now, she doesn't need to be outside the three-point line. Great move by Nyblak. Tennessee. You know, I really did think that it was going to be their time, especially, you know, Renaya Davis takeover time. Okay, Lott, and now you're just messing around out there. I know they're bringing it from both inside and outside the paint, though. This has been an incredible offensive performance. I mean, it's not like West Virginia is easy to score against. Georgia Tech's eating them up, giving the ball up on every possession. Dean's behind the back, feed it inside, the easy basket. 14 double-doubles this season for Lorella Kubai, including one tonight. Georgia Tech making a statement, and that'll continue. Lottenen now have a tournament. Georgia Tech on the verge of trying to get back to the Sweet 16 for the first time since 2012. The runner is good for Kubai. She has 16. So I'll have to tune in. Hopefully they'll show that. But in this game, uh, Georgia Tech is the team that's been dancing, and Nell Fortner has her squad looking strong. A team that's never been to the NCAA tournament is on the verge of closing this one out. Yeah, Lawton has not missed a whole lot tonight. It's been phenomenal just reading the defense and making every right decision. Nye Black, get your Scantrons make, ready. That's, oh, man, that just gives me anxiety. Don't, don't do that. I hated those <laughs> tests. <laughs> nice block. How about the stat sheet for Fletcher? Eight, six, four, and two. Yep. You're filling up a couple of different columns. That's a good night. Make it 10 points now for Kiara Fletcher, the senior. Yeah, it's, it's just really hard to imagine that that's actually the case. And you see Georgia Tech and Love out there almost face guarding her. Coming with 4.27 to go in the first what? half. What? No way. That's shocking. Yeah, agreed. And, and admittedly, there hasn't been a lot of talk about NC State as a favorite to win this tournament. So, I, you know, maybe they like it that way. Staying the underdogs until the right time. The matchup between Veronica Burton and Dana Evans, two of the most exciting guards you will see in this game as Kubai, she is not done. And late in this game, three minutes left, no Kaiser Gondrzic in the ball game. Wonder if that might be her last minutes in college oh yeah i think she's definitely set to continue her basketball career you know if not in the wnba she can make a lot of money overseas that is no doubt oh, but kaiser gondrzic as you mentioned has just gone through so much you know the death of her father this year grant who passed away before the texas game you beat a team we actually run away with in the second half and i don't know that there's any carryover georgia tech certainly feeling like a different team since the second half of that win against Stephen F. Austin. Impressive, really, from start to finish. They trailed by nine early. Since then, all jackets.